Yeah. All right, moving on to uh, another team. This one's in your favorite team's division. That is the New Orleans Saints. And this is the first one that makes me sad. It is I just keep looking at the Saints. I get a little bit excited. You know, I really like Alave. I think he's a star. Ooh, Rashid Sheet. Oh, Sheet's good. He might have a little breakout year this year. Okay. So I got Kamara. Okay. I, I go through the, the world's most interesting tight end room. Then I look at the offensive line. Dude, and it's I bad. get sad. And I get, I get really, happy. Really? And you get happy. Yeah, I get <laughs> sad. Oh, it's just because I knew this is the Trevor Penning experiment's going to dictate a lot in the season. A guy that they drafted at left tackle that was toolsy, supposed to be this, you know, freaky guy, does not play anywhere close to his testing or strength. I was very low on him in the draft process and kind of that another one that yeah, let's go over our good draft takes on the show. Uh, but <laughs> with, but with Penning, he's they've tried. They've tried to develop him. They put him as a six offensive lineman. That's like a good way to kind of get a young guy reps, especially a guy from an FCS school like he was. Never good. Like it was never like good reps. It was all just like, yeah, he's there. He didn't look like a guy that was drafted in the first round and high in the first round. Uh, so that, and they're trying to met right tackle now. So we'll see. Eric McCoy is very good, very good player. Cesar Ruiz has some moments, but you know, these guys get hurt all the time. Patrick Lucas, if you're, if you're starting a guy from Chicago, come on, man. Like we've seen That's that offensive for a while, lines. man. I know. You and know. then we got Tadalise Fuaga, who was their first round pick and a guy that I was, I still had a kind of late first grade on him. Still thought he was justified. I believe a first should have been a first round pick. I was a little lower on, on him than others. I thought he was a run first blocker. Did not see, I thought of him as a guard or a right tackle only. Kind of like, this may be, and this is kind of speaking to you, like a better version of Caleb McGarry. That's kind of why I pictured him as like kind of like his path. And a little more a little more technically sound. But they're bumping him to the left side, which I never pictured for him on the left side because he he's best in a play action offense, run first offense. We're still running everything. But yeah, that that it just with, and how Derek Carr plays, he's not the best with kind of a, a shaky pocket. Yeah, an offense that could be exciting, could have some real moments. It also could go south quickly if they have one injury or any of these young guys don't play. Either of these young guys, I should say, play to the level that they should. So, yeah, why does this make you smile, Falcons fan? Uh, <laughs> well, I, my team isn't good enough to take advantage of this. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Movable force. <laughs> yeah, movable force versus stoppable, stoppable objects. objects. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just... I The one thing that I keep coming back to the more I think about the Saints and... I, I guess like as you start piecing together like what this offensive looks offensive line looks like because like, Ramchick getting hurt, I mean his, his career's probably over at this point. Yeah, um, sadly, I know. Sadly, I uh, they don't really seem to be equipped for this moment that they knew was coming um, because it's not like this has been a secret that Ramchick can end up here or that you can end up in a space where you wouldn't have access to his talents. So for you to say, oh, like maybe we'll probably need like a starting left tackle. And to zero in on Fuaga being your guy for that, I don't quite understand. Because you knew you needed a left tackle, but I I don't understand how you get to Fuaga being your plan at That's 14. It. I mean, I would have rather drafted like Fatani from Washington and throw him out there and give him a chance. first name that came something. to my mind. Yeah. Because he at least showed he played left tackle <laughs> in the same conference. <laughs> yeah. So how it was weird? It how's was that weird, math work? Right? Yeah, I know, and I know if the negative with him was more injury stuff and everything, and maybe they're like, "Hey, we don't want another injured guy on in our roster." But it's like, I don't know. He, I thought he was loads better. And and this was the thing I came back to is like, you can't predict who gets hurt. Get the guy that can potentially play all five spots. That way, you just get. It's all about getting your best five out there. And yeah, yeah, that that one never ended up making sense to me, and that's why it continues to make me sad. <laughs> just because yeah. it, could, it could just be so much better. And I even like the offense coordinator a little bit better just because it's not Carmichael. Uh, you know, I, even though I, I, I do also go to Gee, your Carmichael, dude. Like, what finesse Hall of Famer. That guy sat oh there God. for 20 years and everyone was like, what do you do? And then when he finally gets a chance to call the plays, everyone's like, okay, was we see why you never called plays. That was why nobody never hired you to be the head coach. <laughs> he, was, he was Drew Brees' quarterback coach for like 15 years. It's like, <laughs> uh, what do you even coach Drew Brees on? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I was around a coach. I was around a coach in in Atlanta, and he was complaining about like you know the guys that he had justifiably actually at his position. I will yeah. I will I will give him that. But then I remember one of the pro scouts going like, "Hey, dude, you were coaching Tony Gonzalez for the last like four years. Your life was easy. 
you should like just because you have to work again. <laughs> like this, and I kind of always stuck with me. It was like some of these coaches get so spoiled, and they're like, "Oh shoot, I have rookies. I have like, you know, oh you man, know the guy. Yeah, I have to actually do my title now. Uh, yeah, so sometimes you get those nice bets, and it's great. Josh McDaniels, what, 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 where, where's the rest of these guys? Where's Tom? <laughs> well, that, oh, like, I can't do this. It's only got all stories, but that was the. I said the Bill Bill O'Brien's downsized. He thinks everyone's Tom Brady. And there you go. <laughs> you know, like, so he like coaches him like that. Like, why don't you understand this third down concept and how to like redo do do do? And it's, everyone's just like, what? Yeah, because I'm not Tom Brady. <laughs> to the Sorry. Savant. Yeah. All, this. all right. Well, those are the first ones that made us sad. We're going to take a quick minute to take a break. And then we're going to talk about some more that make us maybe even sadder or maybe just some rants that we want to go on. <laughs> 